In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the intro to Icky Thump by the White Stripes. Uh, you've got a combination of single notes and power chords in this song, uh, and you've got this one reoccurring thing that's going to help you um, with doing pull-offs and then going to the next string. So starting out, we've got our open E string. Then we're going to slide up to the seventh fret on the D string. Two three, four. So go through that a few times. Uh, the next part is the part that I was talking about that it's kind of a recurring thing throughout the entire riff. Uh, you're going to see it in three different places. So you're going to pull from the fifth fret with your second finger to the fourth fret on the D string. And then you're going to land on the fifth fret of the A string. Now this little shape is something worth practicing and getting solid with because you're going to see it in lots of different songs. So up to that point we've got and then we do that again one set of strings up. So we're going to pull from the fifth fret to the fourth fret on the A string and then land on the fifth fret of the E string. Up to that point we've got Open E to a G power chord. So, first finger on the third fret of the E string, third finger on the fifth fret of the A string, pinky on the fifth fret of the D string to an E power chord. For the E power chord, you've got open, two, and two. And then you do the exact same thing up to that point. Now instead of going like you did the first time, you're going to play it one octave up so that you're on the seventh fret pulling to the sixth fret on the G string and landing on the seventh fret of the D string. So. If we play all the way up to that point, we've got So this is another one of those riffs where you've got the same thing the first time and the third time, and you've got a second time ending and then a fourth time ending. So all the way up to where we played just a second ago was the first time, the second time, and the third time. I'm going to play through it a couple of times. Two, three, four. So that would be the start of the fourth time, and then you end it with, so you've got a D, E, D, E. As far as, you know, fingers and fret numbers, it's a regular power chord. Uh, so you're going from the fifth fret on the D, E, which is on the seventh fret, fifth fret on the D, you know, four D, and then seventh fret, four E. And this is all based on the A string. So, when you put all of it together, you end up with... Hopefully that helps you out, and I will see you next time.